Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. Come this back. is Peppa. That's right. I got the T-Rex. My, the T-Rex. <laughs> and I am Zach. The Stegosaurus. <laughs> they have, what do they have, spikes on their back? How are you supposed <laughs> to show that? I don't know. I didn't have to show it. They're behind me. Supposed to be the Triceratops. <laughs> the Triceratops. Yes, that is true. I did have two of those in my park by the end of the game. And uh, the true. one game that I played, how many times did you play this? I played it solo, I think, two or three times, hmm. and then once with you. I did not realize you played it that many times solo, so now, now that's got me wondering. It's got me wondering. I did. I thought maybe you only played it once. In my, mm. in my mind, that's what I thought. I, uh, yeah, I think I think so it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, I think it was three. I think it was mm -hmm. three. It might have been two. I forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah. in my mind, I was thinking that was the second time you played it. Mm. So. Yeah. It might change my thoughts on what you think of the game. Ooh. <laughs> but, <laughs> might change his thoughts on what he thinks of the game. But describe a little bit what Dinogenics is to us. Um, this is Jurassic Park type of thing. The board game. The board game. Um, Two point We got the other ones right over here. That's right. We've got Dinosaur Island, Dinosaur World. Oh, pretty popular theme in this um, mm -hmm. collection. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, in this one you'll be running your dinosaur park and building them with DNA that you collect and possibly playing special event cards to help yourself or possibly hurt other players, which is more prevalent in this or any other mm -hmm. of the dinosaur games. Kind of a little bit of take that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I think there's more interaction in this one. I'm trying to think if they're... Those are mainly like competitive solo games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, and then you also have some different buildings that you can build that give you special abilities, and um, you kind of have to keep in check your dinos as Lady Naza rampage mm -hmm. over your park. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, it's a worker placement game, which is pretty popular for you, and a theme pretty popular for both of us, mm -hmm. so yeah. Been this one, I think we had a choice kind of between this and Dinosaur Island back in the day, and... We went with Dinosaur Island, which mm -hmm. quickly shot up to my number one game, which this guy seems to forget. He always points out that it fell down to around 50 when we did our top 50. It did, and when we do our top 50 this year, I have a feeling it ain't going to be on your list. Oh, I'm going to put it on my... I'm going to put it number one just to spite you. <laughs> I don't see that happening. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just have to put Dino Games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and so I was really happy with that, and then we kind of just forgot about this for a little while, and now we finally got back to it and mm -hmm. edited it I think this was, a little, this was a little harder to get, I think, yeah. as well, yeah. than that, because I think this was on Kickstarter, yeah. and then I think it, I don't know if you couldn't really get it, and then I think, um, when I looked at it again, it was when... I think they have uh, an expansion, mm -hmm. Controlled Chaos yeah. or something, yeah. and that's when I was uh, debating again, but then I'm like, do we need two dinosaur park management games or not? And then mm -hmm. I just said, uh, I'll, just, I'll just wait, hopefully, you know, if it is still that popular, they'll have another expansion. There we but go. I, I think, um, what was it? So this one we ended up getting, I got it f for you for Christmas. Um, because I think it was on your list. Oh, of yeah, games we did kind of a wish, wish list, list, and this was for the I think pre twenty twenty games, which mm -hmm. we just had twenty or more games, so we had to split it into two lists to mm -hmm. name a bunch. Um, but yeah, this is on the list. Wanting to get back to this, one. Mm -hmm. and then like I feel like it was like a week or two after that list, like I got an email from them saying that because I it's on like a newsletter. I don't know what it was exactly, but it said. Oh, in the next week or whatever, we're going to be opening up some extra stock or whatever. And I'm like, well, that's almost a sign that I I should just finally pull the trigger. Because I, I wasn't sure if you were still, like, interested in, um, you know, still looking at it. Because mm. um, yeah. I, I know, I think it's on Tabletopia or something, but I feel like this one would just be a little too... Yeah, a little too much. Once, we, once you've played on Board Game Arena, Tabletopia feels like too much work. Yeah, it, it, it does. <laughs> um, and since, like I said, we've already played those other ones, it's kind of like, is it worth spending a, pun a bunch of extra time maneuvering things on there? No. But yes, we ended up getting it. I was I was very, very excited. 
yeah. uh, to play this one. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, it was one that was still in the back of my mind whenever I would see it or hear mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. I was just like, oh, you know, I'd, I'd like to still try that out because it's a theme that I really love. Um, and I really enjoyed the other one. And it sounded like a lot of people are... I, I think there's some that like one over the other or whatever. Yeah. But I think a lot of people seem to still, like, at least like both. Yeah. I don't think yeah. many Which people is, are like, ah, oh, this one is far superior to... The other one if they've played both yeah which which surprises me um mm-hmm. and definitely made that first choice pretty difficult mm-hmm. yeah it's more difficult than yeah, a lot of the time usually it's like oh, there's a lot of people one. that are like oh it's, this is a whatever killer or whatever it's really yeah. not worth it and the fact that you know they're like that and they kind of if i remember right they came out originally at like the same exact time yes. <laughs> which is kind of unlucky <laughs> for both of them but um, yeah I had really high expectations. You said you yeah. did? Yeah, as well. Especially, I mean, I was kind of similar to how I felt towards Dinosaur World. I'm like, did, is this going to stand apart type of thing? Um, but then, yeah, I, I did the unboxing for this, and once I saw everything that was in it, all the different dino meeples and fence meeples and goat mm-hmm. meeples and um, wooden tokens, um, I had shot it up similar to when we unboxed Dinosaur World, like, to a 10 excitement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree that something about when I would see, uh, usually when I, a lot of the stuff that I see outside of like YouTube is on Instagram, and when I see the pictures, or saw the picture of this one, it always, I was like, oh man, it would just always bring back like, I really want to play that, because yeah, those wooden pieces just, they feel a little bit different than kind of what's yeah, in. Yeah, uh, more of a, a classic type of feel. Yes, um, less than the kind of um, retro-y yeah, type retro, feel. colorful, um, neon type. And, and it's not that I don't like that, um, but I almost, you know, like both for their own. Um, and I, I think that's how they're both able to kind of stand yes. apart, especially. Because um, mm-hmm. this one definitely feels more grounded, and it's kind of got natural landscape as well. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, gritty is a, a great word to do that. Well, that one, those are a little more colorful, and Dinosaur World kind of is a little more realistic looking, but still very colorful, um, mm-hmm. where this one is. And they have kind of plastic, uh, like red and um, pink dinos as well, and these mm-hmm. kind of have wooden, which is, like I said, more of a classic meeple type mm-hmm. feel. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think they somehow, for having the same exact theme, they <laughs> feel give me a completely different feel too. Mm-hmm. Well, not, maybe not completely different, but quite a bit different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the same, same here, um, for sure. I get excited about both of them, uh, <laughs> and that that might kind of give away a little bit of what. Uh, my initial rating, initial thought on this one. Um, we actually played it quite late last night. Yes. For the first time. So uh, I think, though, if I had played it in more of like the middle of the day, I would have wanted to play it immediately again. I think. I think I have to give this one like a 9.5 or 10. Ooh. I really, really loved the game. Um yeah, because I, I couldn't and tell. And it, it might be a little bit of just recency bias hype mm, and yeah. liking the theme and liking the look of the whole game. Uh, so I, it, it probably will you know fall a little bit and kind of settle down a little mm-hmm. lower. Yeah. But um, just has me very excited mm, yeah. to play it some more. Yeah, I'm going to give this probably a 9 as well. Mm-hmm. 9, 9.5. Um, it, 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 the gameplay as well feels different. It does to uh, Dinosaur both, Island and both Dinosaur World. Yeah, it's a, it's crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. Worker yeah, placement, it's... dinosaur park management games, and they feel different in both of that theme and um, mechanism as well, mm-hmm. which is crazy. I think the biggest change here was the DNA, mm-hmm. um, and this one it's just kind of cards that you get, mm-hmm. um, and that one you have to collect a certain set of DNA, like a green, a blue, and a yellow. Um, and this one, you just need like a full set, like of either four or three of mm-hmm. the same card, to be able to play that particular dino. Which I didn't know how I would feel about that. Mm-hmm. That would feel maybe not as advanced or um, mm-hmm. too simple. Um, and in the solo game, the market didn't um, cycle as much. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, eh, I probably prefer the other ones. But in the two-player game with the other player possibly selling dino cards as well it was a lot better and refreshing Mm -hmm. quite a bit more often so Mm -hmm. that definitely eased that worry for me Um, Mm -hmm. so yeah I I really enjoyed the game 
Nice. Awesome. Well, that's that's pretty exciting. And something we should have mentioned at the oh, beginning yes. of this. Um, and this video probably, I think, will probably be combined with that. So when we're shooting this and when it's Welcome actually supposed to... Welcome to Dino <laughs> Week or Month or whatever. <laughs> right, whatever it ends up being. <laughs> we'll see how many videos it ends up being. Um, we we're hoping to do some... Uh, kind of reviews on these and this will probably be included yep uh, first so we might you might get our first look and a chippy review and if, our last if you're subscribed <laughs> and our last look no but then we're going to be comparing all of our dinosaur games yep. and then a couple other ones that we've played um draftosaurus we do not own but we've played it on mm -hmm. um, board yep. game arena yep. we might possibly try to play some other dinosaur themed games yeah um so yeah it'll be a a week or month of dinosaur content. Um, still not sure what month that'll be. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll probably put yeah. it out along with the um, new Jurassic World oh, Dominion. Yeah. I think that's sometime in June or July oh. or something like that. So probably. Well, if you're saying it may it, be June. If, if you're saying this, it <laughs> that is when is it is. Month. <laughs> um, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> welcome to June or July that you are already in. <laughs> Look right. forward to now. Right. Um, um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be a lot of fun. I know some people were excited for that idea when we kind of mm -hmm. asked uh, what they wanted to see or were excited for in the new year and what videos we could put out. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm really excited to. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to make sure you see all of those, you got to hit that subscribe button and also put the bell notifications on. So you'll be the first to see which dinosaur game is the best one that's and right. which one you have to get but you could just get them all that's true we'll have to see how many you have to get because <laughs> it's a requirement it once is you, if once you, you know if you watch this and we tell you to get something <laughs> you must get it <laughs> no but hopefully it'll give you a good idea of yeah if you kind of are you know maybe uh, you weren't into gaming as much when these kind of came out, and maybe you're having to make that decision right now as to which, I guess I don't even know, maybe this one is hard to get now, I, I'm not 100% mm. sure, but uh, maybe you have to make that decision now. Do you get Dinosaur Island? Do you get Dinosaur World? Do you get Dinogenics? Hopefully that video will answer it, that yes. we will that will come out <laughs> shortly after this. <laughs> or maybe we won't be able to decide ourselves. <laughs> maybe it'll be a three-way crossover. Triple, triple <laughs> crossover. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, we've rambled on quite a bit about that towards the end of the video where no one's probably watching. So if you I'll are watching, leave a comment below as to what your prediction is as to which dinosaur game will have that top spot. That's right. Um, but otherwise, we hope to see you on the next one. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content. And those goats, which is the food that you feed the carnivores in Dinogenics.